So we've already encountered the present active indicative, which is simple or progressive action in the present. I am walking, I am stopping, I stop, you stop, he, she, it stops, or is stopping. Now we're going to get the future active indicative. Uh, this is a simple or progressive action in the future. That is, I will stop or I will be stopping. Uh, I will call, you will be calling, and so on. And that's what we mean by simple or progressive action in the future. It's very easy to form the future active indicative. All you're going to do is use a particular tense marker. You're going to have the present stem plus, generally, a sigma. So for luo, you're going to add, after the lu, a sigma, and then your present active indicative endings. So luso, luces, luce. Uh, another way of looking at this is you're just going to use the second principal part. This is going to be important when we get certain verbs whose stems end in a consonant. We'll look at these later. Uh, but as you can imagine, if your stem ends in a kappa and you add a sigma to that, it's going to be x. It's going to change to a xi. So let's take a look at one of these real quick. So luso. Uh, here you have your stem, lu, your tense marker, sigma, and your ending, luso. Stem, lu, tense marker, sigma, ace, your ending, you will free. You will set free. Uh, and luce, your third person singular, lu, the, the sigma tense marker, a, lusomen, lucete, lususin. And you'll notice the accents work just like they did in the present active indicative. The accent is recessive. You're going to move back as far as you possibly can.